100% CPU usage is an all too common problem in Windows 10. There are many reasons this can happen, from Windows processes and services misbehaving to games hogging too much CPU. Here we go through the most common reasons for 100% CPU usage and how to fix it. Hi, this is Phil from Ectechesia and this is how to fix 100% CPU usage in Windows 10. We've all been there. You turn on the PC and instead of getting straight to work, you're faced with horrific slowdown and loud running fans. Hit Control Shift Escape and you'll see that your CPU usage is inexplicably at 100%. It's a common problem that's luckily not usually too hard to solve. Here are several fixes for the 100% CPU usage problem. Check your power supply. This one's an issue that can affect both desktop and laptop Windows 10 users. If you have a faulty power supply, the mains cable on a laptop, the PSU in a desktop, then it can automatically start undervolting your PC to preserve power. When undervolted, your CPU can function at only a fraction of its full power. Hence, the possibility of this manifesting as 100% CPU usage on Windows 10. To solve this on a laptop is quite simple. Unplug your laptop from the power cable, then click the battery icon at the bottom right corner of your Windows 10 desktop, battery settings, power and sleep settings, additional power settings, and select high performance. If the issue was with your power supply, the CPU usage should return to normal in the task manager, control shift escape. On a desktop, things can be a little more complicated as you'll need to physically remove the PSU from your PC and test a different one. We recommend going through our other tips listed below before trying any of that. Disable Superfetch or Windows Search. Superfetch is a process by which Windows 10 learns which apps you use most often, then pre-fetches them for you so they load quicker each time you use them. It's a constant background process that doesn't usually cause problems, but it doesn't always play nice with older devices. To find out whether a Superfetch or another service is hogging your CPU, open Task Manager, Control shift escape click More Details, then click CPU to order processes by how much CPU they're using. If you see that a service host like Superfetch or something else is using a lot of CPU, you can try right-clicking it and clicking End Process. Alternatively, to disable it permanently or until Windows switches it on again, which can happen after you update the OS, press Win plus R, then type Services, then in the Services window scroll down to Superfetch. Right-click Superfetch, click Properties, then in its Properties window click the drop-down next to Startup Type, Click Disabled and OK. You can technically do this to any service that's hogging CPU, but some services are system critical, so you need to be quite careful. Another culprit of high CPU usage is Windows Search, which you can safely disable too. Reset your power plan. Twiddling around in Windows Power Options can have a substantial effect on your PC performance. If you're set to high performance, particularly if you made tweaks to the plan settings, then it's possible that you're overloading your CPU. Again, older devices are susceptible to this. Type Power Plan into the Start search bar and then click Choose a Power Plan. If you're on high performance or Power Saver, then switch to Balanced. For extra certainty, click Change Plan Settings and then on the new screen, click Restore Default Settings for this plan. Disable third-party antivirus software. This one may be a bit contentious, but our view here is that if you're using antivirus software on Windows 10, then you're probably putting unnecessary strain on your CPU, particularly if it's older. It doesn't usually hurt to have the extra security, but you may not need it. Every year we write an in-depth feature about Windows 10's onboard security software, Windows Defender, and every year it seems to get better and better. At this point, it's more or less on par with the best antivirus software out there. So don't be afraid to disable your third-party antivirus software to see if it helps your CPU usage. If it does, then uninstall it, because Windows Defender should really have you covered. Identify errors in specific processes. This one's a little more intricate than the other fixes, but it also has the potential to offer more long-term solutions to your CPU woes. If you found that your high CPU usage is being caused by a Windows service host process in Task Manager, then one option is to take the Superfetch route as per the first fix and disable it. But to go deeper into the problem, press Win plus R, then open 
event VWR. And then in the pane on the left, go to Applications and Service Logs, Microsoft Windows, WMI Activity, Operational. Click the middle column called Operational for errors. And then under the General tab below that, check the Client Process ID number. Go back to Task Manager, click the Details tab, and then sort the processes by PID. Find the process with the error. Right click it and click Open File Location. This will give you an idea of what software the process is attached to and whether you can reinstall it, uninstall it, update its drivers and so on and so forth. 100% CPU usage on Windows 10 is a multifaceted and complex issue with many solutions. These are some of the most likely fixes. But if you found that something else worked better, then please, by all means, let us know in the comments. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.